what is going on everybody welcome back to another video hopefully everybody is having an awesome day today the snow and the rain is finally starting to clear up literally this whole entire past week has been uh full of snow and rain as you can tell by the snow still sitting on my car and i tried to drive my car once and uh as you can see it is caked with mud now today's video as you guys already know about by the title in the thumbnail is going to be about if you can daily drive a genesis coupe now i'm just going to basically cut to the chase and tell you guys that yes you can drive this car basically every day rain snow sleet hail whatever the conditions are as long as you have the correct tires like literally this car will take you anywhere and to prove it to you i'm going to show you guys what my genesis coupe has to endure on a daily basis and just basically show you how rugged of a car this is and uh what it's capable of handling so i guess without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this video real quick there is one more thing i wanted to tell you guys about about these cars before we hop into this video and that is if you live in a fairly cold slash snowy place year round and you can't keep these cars in a garage they have a problem with the window dropping so basically if it gets too cold if it's below freezing if it gets too wet and the water freezes in here the window won't drop like that and uh you kind of just got to yank the door open and what i've found to work the best for letting the window drop back down after you've yanked the door open if you even want to risk yanking the door open and risk breaking this is to, to take a hair dryer and just run it along the uh, seam of the window and eventually after maybe five ten minutes it'll drop down and you don't have to slam it shut and worry about it hitting into a uh, this rubber piece right here because if you were to slam this door shut and the window was to slam into that you'd probably break it and i actually have a little bit of damage from doing that when i first got this car i don't know if you guys can see it or not but i've got a crack in my plastic right here and uh this thing's just a little bit screwed up looking now it does not let water in or anything but i don't want to ever do it again because i don't want it to let water in or anything and i have a feeling that if this were to actually break water would probably leak in through the door right there that's just one thing to look out for if you're thinking about getting one of these cars and you live in a cold area um the windows can freeze shut so be be careful of that basically is what i'm saying everybody i just started the car up as you guys saw and right now it is currently 4 p.m usually it takes me about five to eight minutes to get down the driveway and uh, you guys are about to find out why Alright everybody, the snow started to pick up a little bit harder than I was hoping it would so I threw you guys up on the head cam and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and finish this. So basically from here on out the driveway only gets 10 times worse than what you guys just saw. You gotta try and dodge these craters that are full of water right here because uh, yeah I'd rather not bottom out the car in there. Turn off the AC. Now the driveway usually takes me about five to eight minutes to get down it because I can't really go more than five miles an hour otherwise I'll probably uh, break something basically. Now what we are about to come up on is literally the worst part of the whole entire driveway and uh, it has gotten so bad recently with all the rain and everything that my neighbors uh, had to start letting us use theirs because literally this car if I were to keep going straight and not cut off a little bit here like this thing would be stuck in a ditch on the side of the hill and it would just be uh absolutely awful so we have to go this way which is still uh you might be thinking oh yeah this is probably a whole lot better than what you got to deal with but no sir it's a lot better but it's not good by any means that's for damn sure 
So right here basically is when the uh, the treacherous spot begins. So you got to straddle this huge, huge rut right here. Like if I were to drop my tire down in there, um, I'd probably come out the other side of the trench without another without a tire. Now hopefully this is picking up on GoPro pretty good for you guys. But like literally this is probably a 65, 70 degree incline. And uh, when it is any bit wet outside, it is not very fun to try and go up, that's for sure. We are almost down everybody. And this, this right here, not this driveway, just where I live basically, this is the reason why it took me so long to get the front splitter was because I was afraid that basically leaving home or going home that I was going to rip it off. And as you guys can see, uh, I'll try to give you guys a pretty good view of it here in a second. The splitter is literally like this far away from the ground, like in the sketchy spots. Man, this snow is really starting to pick up. That's unfortunate to say the least. All right. Gotta crack the window here. Gotta look out over here. Make sure we don't scrape our wheel on anything. All right, roll the window back up. Now I'm just gonna stop right here, throw it in park real quick, and I'm just gonna give you guys a good look at how close to the ground I am because it's pretty insane. There is legitimately no room for air. If I were to mess up at all, I am uh, ripping this splitter right off of here. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's a, it's a pretty tight squeeze to say the least. All right, we are finally pulling out of the driveway. It's only been about eight to 10 minutes later. It went from not snowing at all to uh, snowing pretty heavily. Let me throw my seatbelt on. All right, everybody, as you guys just saw, we finally made our way down the driveway. That is literally what I have to deal with on a daily basis if I want to take this car anywhere, which is why I cannot wait to get a place of my own or just a second car that I don't really have to worry as much about. So I can just, uh, you know, drive down the driveway without having to worry about basically breaking a shock or something. But uh, yeah, real quick, as you guys can see, it has been snowing and raining so much here. This is just a good depiction of it this week. Like literally this stuff, um, Normally the water is obviously not above that tree or any of these trees, but uh, as you can see today it is because it's been raining and snowing literally every day this week. But as you guys just saw, the Genesis is quite a capable car. Like literally I unfortunately have to beat up on it in a way every single day or every single time I drive it somewhere because I have to take it off-roading literally. So yeah, really I just wanted to show you guys basically how capable of a car this is. Maybe if any of you guys were thinking about getting one of these as a daily driver but weren't sure if it were able to withstand um, basically what you have to go through on a daily basis. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that these cars can basically withstand just about anything. Now, lowering it, that is another reason. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this real quick. I've wanted to lower this car for quite some time, but as you guys just saw, I'm pretty sure if I were to lower this thing, I would get to the bottom of the driveway, probably missing at least one wheel and a body panel of some sort, the back bumper or something, because it would probably get ripped off in one of those holes. One more thing I wanted to talk about real quick before we wrap this video up is if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys saw that I finally got a pair of downpipes in. They're going to be installed this week. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for it. Um, I know that it's not supposed to be a huge performance improvement on the car, like because the stock downpipes are supposed to be pretty good, but apparently it'll make the car a little bit louder and whatnot. So uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. Those are getting installed Monday morning and uh, yeah, the video should be up the following day. But like I said, that is really going to wrap this video up everybody. I just wanted to show you guys that these cars right here are extremely capable cars. And if you've been thinking of getting one for a daily driver, uh, trust me, it can uh, withstand what you're gonna put it up to. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to drop a like and subscribe. Peace out, I will see you guys in the next one.